Well, guys, so I'm going to make an apology. If it uh, sounds like a little bit like I'm under the weather, it's because I am. I've got some sort of cold or allergies coming about. I'm kind of leaning towards allergies and maybe a sinus infection uh, just because of this. You know, it's that time of the year. And I don't remember the last time when my allergies bothered me this bad. But as you guys can see here, I got a lawnmower in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Throw this over into the lawnmower bag mountain. Let's go ahead and unload this. I don't really plan on doing much this weekend, mainly because I kind of feel a little sick. I don't know how I'm going to be feeling tomorrow, if I'm going to get any better, and I don't know where the hell that other pin went. Found it. No, it was in there. I need to take the shot back to the back of the car. Of course, if my allergies are acting up, that's not a good thing. Especially not to have in such a small area, but hopefully it doesn't bother me. So, anyways, uh, the guy gave me this mower. I know a couple things about it. I know it's a 2005. I know the pull cord is completely gone. But in all honesty, I've picked up mowers in much worse shape than this little guy. Primer bulb is, wow, I've never seen one that bad before. That's uh, California Sun right there. Now this is a Murray, or depending if you bought it somewhere else, a Yard Machines, or a Bullens, or an MTD. They're all the same damn thing. And I think Murray is actually owned by Troy Built now. Or they're all owned by Troy Built, I should say. Uh, I, I didn't even check if there had any oil in it or not. There's a little bit, not much. So anyways, uh, guy told me about this mower. Said that he had been given it, actually, and it had just been sitting. From what I understand, he never really got around to fixing it. Now, what had ended up happening, the motor seized up, it quit running, he got it going again, and then the guy, the mower just stopped, and he claimed, he, <clears throat> the guy that I picked it up from claimed that the mower was seized up. Well, before I put it in the car, I was curious, so I went ahead and rotated the blade. Not that this even matters, but safety first. Get out of there. So I've rotated the blade. Sounds like there's something going on, but it's not seized. Yeah, there's something going on. But it wasn't, it's not seized, as you guys can tell. I think I got that tetanus shot lately. So, I don't know, the mower's probably fucked, or the motor is probably fucked, because uh, there's definitely some resistance, but it's not 100% seized. Now, the other thing too, I already have a motor like this that's just sitting in the shop, uh, and I could use the parts off this motor to hopefully get that other one going. I don't know what's wrong with the other one. I don't know if the other one's really worth diving into. But I think the other one actually does rotate. Maybe I can get that Bullens motor and throw it onto this deck. We'll have to see what happens. I also did pick up, yeah, five bucks for both of these. These, th that's a screaming deal. I'll tell you guys why. These wheels go for like more than 20 bucks a piece. Uh, I mean, you could buy aftermarket ones that are around the same size, but, uh, if you buy these, you know, like off eBay or something, I think these are like Craftsman High Wheels, was what they're called. And uh, it's the ones that they use on the Craftsman mowers. But uh, they're actually really expensive if you buy them new and even used in most cases. So five bucks for those, I jumped on it. Then I picked up this with those wheels. Uh, five bucks for this. Nothing too special. The bag's in good shape. That's really all I wanted it for was the bag and the, the brake handle's in okay condition. Or the brake cable is in okay condition. It does have a blade on it. 
This is an older mower, definitely. But usually when I buy or acquire mowers like this, it's for parts. Because this deck, I mean, it's probably still usable. And if I can get this mower going, you know, it might be a $40 mower or so. But the uh, flywheel keys broke. And I know that because when I go, I squirted uh, some starting fluid in some of these mowers or over the past few days. And this one, it's it'll start and it'll run off the starting fluid. But right when you first pull the cord back, it'll want to rip the cord out of your hand. So you got to kind of be careful. Usually, like 95% of the time, that means a broken flywheel key. I also got in a bunch more mower parts. Didn't make a video on this, but I swapped it over. Got that brake cable hooked up. I don't know if it's set up properly. And I don't know if this is the right belt or not. I'll show you guys what it does. Might need to tighten this a little bit more or something. It seems like it's a little loose. If any of you guys has any tips or pointers on that, let me know. But this is what it does. So, when you push the mower backwards, it works fine. Forwards, it locks up. I don't know if there's supposed to be some sort of cable that holds it back. And then this just puts tension on both of them, puts it forward. Maybe there is, I don't know. But now, weirdly, if I go slowly, it'll let me do it. But if I start to try to go any faster, it just won't have it and it'll want to lock up. I'm sure it's just, you know, something really simple. I just haven't really dove into it much yet. I have the uh, cover on order. It should be here tomorrow. I do have all the parts now to do this. And don't worry, I will be uh, pressure washing this deck. Clean. In fact, I've got a lot of stuff I need to take the pressure washer to. Uh, but this mower, I have all the pieces for. I've got the cover that goes over that. I've got the blade. You know, I've got everything I need. And I've got this little guy. This is the adapter that allows the drive belt, which I also do still have. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to be doing. I did get some other parts. I've got a couple of Tecumseh primer bulbs. So I know I'm going to have to put one on this thing to even try and get that working. And then one on that little guy over there. So believe me guys, I've got plenty of stuff to keep me busy, provide, keep providing you with content and things of that nature. In fact, I gotta tackle this thing again because the uh, new carburetor gasket I put on is still leaking. So I don't know if it's just leaking out of the carburetor, but uh, my dad wants me to try and put this uh, Chinese carburetor on and uh, see if it'll even run or work off of that. I don't know yet. If that doesn't work, he's probably just gonna go to Harbor Freight and buy a Predator motor, throw it on. So we'll have to see what happens with that. There's that motor that I was talking about for that mower that I just got out there. Maybe I could use some parts off that motor on this one and you know cobble something together. We'll have to see. So I also went to Harbor Freight today got this in the mail because they actually don't sell this motor in California because it doesn't meet doesn't meet the emission requirements. It's that 79 cc side shaft motor I was telling you guys about. But what I'm going to do with this is two things. One, I know it'll probably fit on here. At least that's what, what people online were saying. So I'm going to throw it onto this edger frame. This edger frame's still good. And then this one I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. Either if I'm going to throw an 80cc motor on like that one, or just a slightly bigger one. I don't know yet. So we'll have to uh, figure that one out. So there's that. Now that wasn't all that I bought from Harbor Freight today. Probably spent a lot more money than I should have. Now they have their one of their very many sales that they have going on throughout the year. So I managed to go by there. And I had the intention of buying about three or four things, and I did have a list. But of course, I ended up buying some more things. First off, I use the hell out of these nitrile gloves. I haven't tried this kind before that they have, so hopefully it ends up that they're pretty good. They, I mean, they, they had one box that was open, so I got to feel the thickness, and I guess I can just open it for you guys. 
but they feel like they're pretty good glove. I'm a connoisseur of these things, guys. I really am. I use them all the time. Then I bought this seven inch chisel kit. Bought some more of these because I use these all the time. And then I bought one, two, three of these. Use these all the time as well. And then I bought a uh, impact, deep impact socket set. Metric, of course. I didn't have metric, just standard. Bought some of these impact extensions. Bought some of these. Beetle files, needed those a while ago. $2.99. So, yeah, whatever. Also bought an extra one of those because I don't know if the one that I have is the right one for that. Also got another chisel set that's smaller. There's actually, I didn't buy these both for these parts, though they will come in handy, I can see. I bought them for these actually, the pointed ones. I'll make a video on that, but it involves a lawnmower flywheel. You guys should look forward to that. Also bought a terminal set, needed one of these a while back, actually multiple times. Hammer for four bucks, and I needed one of these too. This was like four bucks as well. Harbor Freight, you know, a lot of their stuff tends to be okay. Especially stuff like this. You can't really fuck up something like this. These I've had very good luck with. I've never had them come apart on me. I use those all the time for like wiring and in stuff into the electronics and cars and stuff like that. Uh, I believe I have a Harbor Freight standard impact socket set. In fact, I'm like a hundred, actually, yes, I do. I've had good luck with them, so I figured I'd buy these. I mean, you can't really mess up stuff like this. This was like 99 cents. <laughs> so, you know, if it breaks, oh well. Out of all the stuff that I bought, this is probably what I might not have the most faith in. But I have needed these before. Snap ring pliers. And then I bought a hammer just because I like hammers. You guys can expect an unboxing video on this and a review and installation on one of those edgers. Probably be the yellow one that I'll install it on. And that's about it for this video, boys. I'm going to go ahead and bring this stuff into the shop, do a quick unboxing video on that, and uh, you guys all stay classy.